Amoeba Proteus Anatomy and Slides. Amoeba Proteus characteristics and factoids. They move primarily using pseudopods and they do this by a process called cytoplasmic streaming. They push the cytoplasm of the cell into these little formed pseudopods that kind of push them and drag them through the, the fluid environment. They are primarily predators, although they are somewhat omnivorous. They can eat certain phytoplankton or microscopic plants. Some species are pathogens, meaning they can cause disease. An example would be amoebic dysentery. You can look at a amoeba and tell it by things like its nucleus, vacuoles, you'll see both contractile and food vacuoles, and you will see the pseudopods. We're going to look at three different slides we have here at the college, and this is our first slide of Amoeba Proteus. And understand when you're looking at this, some structures on the amoeba may actually be in sharp focus while other structures will look a little fuzzy. That is because of the three-dimensional depth of the slide. So we've got several amoeba that are very obvious here. They've been stained. We can actually even see nucleus. We're using the 4x objective here. All right, we're going to now look at this one particular amoeba. We're going to zoom in using our 10x objective. Here we can see a little more detail. We can see pseudopods. And where you can see some overlapping, this indicates the three-dimensional nature of this slide. And we can even see our nucleus here. Now here is the same amoeba using the 40x objective and we can see several other very interesting little structures here. Obviously we can see our nucleus, but here is a large contractile vacuole. We'll cover exactly what that does in a minute. And it looks like we can see a couple little food vacuoles buried deep into the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm, the grainy substance, is clear throughout this organism and we can see several pseudopods. I want to expand a little bit on this contractile vacuole. This organelle is very important in helping this animal maintain its shape and get rid of excessive water. Now if we look at the solution inside the cell, we see that it's got a lot of solute and not nearly as much solvent as outside the cell. This comparison would make this the hypertonic solution inside the cell compared to the hypotonic solution outside the cell, with the result that water would tend to flow into the cell. Well, if you didn't have a way of getting rid of that fluid, you could actually explode this cell or this animal, and that's where the contractile vacuole comes into play. The contractile vacuole fills up with water in a stage we call diastole. Then the contractile vacuole contracts, expelling excess water back out into the environment in a stage we call systole. This is a constant process designed to rid the cell of excess water, which is constantly diffusing back in due to the hypertonic nature of the solution inside the cell. Here is our second slide of the amoeba that we have here at the school, and we can see several of them scattered about here. Here is the same slide using the 10x objective. We can clearly see the nuclei. We can see some very delineated pseudopods. And here is one of our amoeba that we have focused in on using the 40x objective. We can see the nucleus, and we can see several food or even waste vacuoles mixed into the cytoplasm. Here is our last slide using the 4x objective. This is an amoeba proteus. And I like this slide because it uses two different stains. We can see a tremendous number of pseudopods on this animal. We can focus in a little closer using the 10x objective and the pseudopods become very apparent. We can see a nuclei deep into the cytoplasm there. And here we can see the amoeba using the 40x objective. We can see the two different stains, a green and a red. There's obviously the nucleus. Not sure if that's the tip of a pseudopod or maybe a food vacuole. Possible food vacuoles there and there.
This wraps up my discussion of the anatomy of the amoeba. See my other video, the function or life history of the amoeba. And coming soon, I'll have a video with some live film of some live amoeba that we have here at the school.